Yeah. We are ready. We are back. Welcome to Fear and. <laughs> yeah. Love that intro. Yeah. Welcome That's... to Fear and, everybody. We're back here. It's a beautiful day in sunny Los Angeles, California. And we got stuffed. I about. just realized that you're wearing the shoes that I won from the Austin show that I gave you as a gift because they were too small for me. I think they're fake. Yeah, I'm also Wait, almost what? certain that they're fake. I don't. I honestly, there probably are, but I got paid a lot of money to give them to you. So <laughs> that's. I'm looking at it right now. They're the off whites, right? They're the yep. off white shoes. Yep. The yeah, there was no. Uh, there was a bunch of giveaways on a stream. You still owe me a watch too. Oh, a Jordan would watch. Yep. Oh, that's long gone. Oh, dude, he he owes me so much. <laughs> you just never. You, there's no way. Okay. No, I me. asked you many times. Uh, I, look, I've, you can have my watch. <laughs> Thank you. Deal. Okay. I, I'll bring it to you next podcast. And the jacket. The, Jor the, okay. the jacket you ever wasn't a part of the deal. The jacket was okay. never the, the, supposed the, the, to be yours. Okay. I, I stole a jacket from Hassan, and for some reason, Will feels compelled that that's his jacket. He thinks it's his jacket. I bought the jacket for Connor originally, yep. and then once Connor was, down, uh, was, was done wearing it, yep. Will was supposed to have it. Yes. And and maybe juice all and maybe maybe engage in like a like a like a sharing. Yeah, you don't want thing. it. Will. It's, it's cranberry juice is okay. all over it. Oh, okay. It's terrible. It's terribly stained. Almost unrecoverable. I guess you should buy a new one then, right? No, no. Yeah, that, yeah, that was yeah. a one. That was a one-time piece. They don't make them anymore. No, they do. I I've seen it. Oh, have you really? That's, Listen, yeah. I don't know. W enough grilling, spit roasting this guy. He gets enough of it. <laughs> I have a topic I want to talk to you oh, specifically to. about, right, and I want to know your take. I'm here. I'm ready. You're Big time anti cyber truck. Oh yeah, I am. Oh, I'm anti cyber hey, was a, truck too. There Why was is a that? Point, there was a point when I that's, thought it could be cool. That's crazy. They're ugly. Yeah. No, those they're gorgeous. They're, I think they're not gorgeous. They're I think very, they're ugly. They're no, I, I I am a big time pro Toyota Helix, which is the greatest truck ever crafted. Sure. Yeah. yeah. So this is a cyber Tesla cyber truck, and and the Tesla cyber truck is like the quite the opposite of that. I love here. I'll give you an example of an EV truck that I do like right. uh, the F100 concept. If you want to pull that up real quick, the F100 concept. Uh, the EV concept is is an absolute slapper. Like that's a butte right there. Look at that. That's yeah. a gorgeous vehicle. Look that's at a that throwback. Yeah, that that's what I mean. Like vehicle. that's the type of shit I'm on when I talk about yeah. EVs. Like I don't want to see like cyberpunk style fucking EVs. Mm, that's sexy. which is ironic actually because cyberpunk had a lot of old school vehicles. But that's sexy. That's what I want. I want that. I the want cybertruck is sexy though. I, I don't, don't think agree. It's sexy like that, that though. That's sexy. <laughs> Cybertruck is sexy, and uh, it's, it's it's. I guess it's a matter of opinion. I'm anti electric vehicle. That's interesting. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I I understand where you're coming I from. Mean, like, I I'm guess not, no. I think we should support the environment. You're like fuck the environment. I just think that sometimes if I got to get somewhere, I got to use gas. Austin, is your sink <laughs> running right now? Is my sink house? running for my? Is cat your sink running home? for your cat? No, I did turn it off. But my cat. Okay, here's the thing about my cat. Can I uh -huh. tell you something? Uh -huh. I got, I took everybody's advice. I got an automatic water feeder, okay, or whatever the hell it is, automatic water fountain for my cat. My cat still refuses to drink out of it and, and, and goes by the sink and nudges the sink for me to turn it on. I Listen, I just think <laughs> your, your cat is a wild animal and mm. as obstinate as it is, I think it will drink water before it dies. It, it, <laughs> I, I don't know yet. It hasn't died yet, <laughs> so I'm, I'm sure it. I don't. I've turned. I've stopped using as much water. I probably turn it on half as much as I used to. Before we move on, so I, the sink is still running at I mean, your it's house. It's not running right now. Okay, it's so dribbling. he hates it's the environment. It's a drop. It's a drop. A few he, drops. he hates the environment. We already established that. Yeah. Your opinion is null and void. I like EVs. I like EV trucks. Did you know that the Ford F one fifty EV? Has the capacity <coughs> to fully power a house for yeah. three days. It was in the ad. Yeah. It was in their ad. Okay, I think that's that like everybody's home for Christmas. It's like, grandma's here. And then the power goes out. And it's like, oh God, grandma's <laughs> respirator. What are we gonna and he goes, don't worry. And he goes out and it's like, like a rock. And he, I love that. Awesome. Yeah. That's, that's awesome. Fucking, that's so American. Yeah. It's so stupid. I love and it. Grandma on her big iron lung is like, so, <laughs> at so, okay, so here's so here's what i was trying to say mm -hmm. i'm hitting it from both angles i love the big american oh, yeah. i love the big american stupid silly truck the f-150 sure. i love the old school pizzazz of the f-100 yeah and i also am a fan of of you know uh the the regular combustion engines uh with the toyota helixes which is one of the most durable vehicles ever created it, it won the chadian libyan war um it's it no there's a literal war called the toyota war yeah, i didn't I, I, I and it was one with <laughs> uh with technicals so on that front i feel like cyberpunk the uh, cyberpunk cyber truck doesn't hit 
any of those it's not a five tool truck it's got a shitty bed mm. um it's it's not even movable like it's it's got like this deep pocket right it's built like a goddamn uh like an above ground pool the bed of the truck so it's not very See, good for yeah, utility you're, you're using it for trucking that's your first mistake listen i had a vision okay in the dead of night and it came to me in my sleep like a like a harbinger on the wind mm. and what it told me is this next few years there will be a reboot of back to the future and the car used in place of the DeLorean Boring. will be the Tesla Cybertruck. Uh, I'm just a, not a Tesla fan. Mark it. I mean, I'm that could Tesla be the case. It's I've just that like, Tesla's. it still wouldn't, in my opinion, make it cool. Hey, you're a hipster. No, no, not at all. No, he said wearing his tie-dye self-merch and his Crocs with fur on them. I can't get on electric. You have the they're, same Crocs. I do. I'm, I'm a hipster. I will admit this. Uh, I I'm think dressed like Bill Belichick. Show the, <laughs> it's not the Honda EV. Show the show the other Hyundai EV, con, the Hyundai one. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hyundai EV concepts are also out of control as well. These are the, that's the one. <sighs> That's See, the that fucking sick. one, baby. Oh. That's the one, dude. See, that's oh, sick. That. Fuck. Yeah, like I, I want that so bad. Yeah. I will literally own a pachinko parlor. Yeah. And and a shit ton of prostitutes. <laughs> and like I will. <laughs> Yes, 100%. What do you, what do you mean? Well, Don't fuck. Deja vu. I've just been to this place before. I'm, t I'm telling you, I come out of that car. I got a fat ass fucking pinky ring. Are you gonna I smack the shit out of a triad. Oh, yeah. Right? Wow. Like for fucking up my territory. Like yeah. you're supposed to know. And I yeah. say, oh my, oh my shindere. Yeah. And he's dead. I smacked him so hard. He died. Wow. He didn't even know it. That's amazing. Well, listen, I'm not, I'm not. A, a wise man, but I do think the Cybertruck looks cool, and for me, that's enough. I think it. I disagree, but that's. I respect your opinion. Thank I do. I, I I respect your. Opinion. I don't like Teslas. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff that I don't like. Well, about I mean, it. that's probably because it's so much would, faster. They're than very minimal. Uh, look, the, your Tesla would. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's not fair. Yeah. My my car is faster than Hassan's. Wow. No, it's not true. His that's, car is faster unfortunately than yours. that's not true. Hassan has his little bitchy Porsche in the driveway. no. Unfortunately, did, did you see the Tesla Cybertruck dust the Porsche off the line oh. while towing a Porsche? Wait, oh, really? Oh my god! Yeah. I believe it. I mean, it's a. I will tell you guys something. After oh, was done. it an EV Porsche or was it a? Was it a? Uh, I don't know. I think it was the nine. It might have been in the nine eleven. So, um, yeah, it, it dusts EVs do dust the the combustion engines pretty hard. In it's, true gay fashion, yeah, I got in a car accident. What? Yeah, I got. Wait, well, I'm sorry. I got in a car accident, like a homosexual. Yes, like That's... a homosexual in true gay fashion. <laughs> and there was another gay gentleman. Son, you're not allowed to say that. Only he's allowed. Yeah, to say yeah. That. yeah. Look, and it was I'm the most. It as a question. So this is what happened. So I, first of all, I I had another gay gentleman in the car that was helping me. I was trying to back out of my driveway. Achieve orgasm? No, <laughs> I know. We weren't fucking at the time. Okay, I was backing out of my garage and there was a work truck behind me and I thought, well, maybe I can get out. So I proceeded to do a 300 point Austin Powers turn and I get out, the twink in the passenger seat was telling me, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. I took out, I swiped the right side of my garage and took out the front right portion of my vehicle. So I don't get it. So like That's, twinks are bad at direction too. Like they're bad off the car I, he too. He was in the car with me saying you're good. And I Wait, kept Why going. would he know more than you when he's, he's in, in the, the passenger car? seat? It was closer to where we were. We could have hit. Yeah. As in, <laughs> as in he, you, he was saying you're good on his side. Yeah. yeah but you weren't good on your side. No, that oh. was a side I hit. Oh, you were not good. No, I was not good. As my, as my, my, my sensor was going. <laughs> he's like, you're good. Please stop. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> you're and, and so I went and I was like, I, I thought I cleared it, right? Yeah. And, and he's like, he gets out of the car and he goes, anyway, the entire front right quarter panel is just white paint, just scraped and uh, just dented in. Uh, yeah. And I, I was like, it was the dumbest thing I've ever done. Cause you know, all I had to do was tell the guy, can you move your truck? Yeah. And instead I decided to proceed it like a yeah. Probably a 90 degree angle out of my That was garage. a perfect storm. You had the yeah. ego of a man and the yeah. depth perception of a twink. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
So I wrecked my car. I did a, it was a, they just need to replace the bumper. Uh -huh. uh, it's already in the shop. Maybe uh, without the bumper, it could possibly try and beat either of our cars, but it probably would still lose. No, yeah, no, no. Will's car, I'll give Will. Will will, will torch my Will's car. Will's car is the fastest. Yeah, yeah, but yours. Mine is like the no, third fastest. Your, yours would, yours would die. No, it, it is actually. Yours sucks a lot. Considering that it's an electric vehicle, Your it would car, still you dust you. car. <laughs> Okay. You have a gay car. That's fine. Yeah. I guess. You, Did you, a gay man, just use gay as a derogatory? Yeah, as a pejorative, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Your car's gay, and so are you wearing pink. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, is happening? Now our podcast yeah. is here, baby. Gotta, what is you, happening? You got to bleep that out. Yeah, sorry, I'm raising. Um, so, you uh, know what's amazing? <laughs> just when the Come Town podcast is making its appeal... It, for your support, we become the <laughs> yeah. We're yeah, just gonna yeah. we're gonna start. Come back. No, oh, damn. no, no. It's the Adam Friedland show is what he's talking about. Oh, okay. okay. Nick has a stand up special that came well, out today. Stavros, uh, Stavros uh, has his own podcast now called the Stavros uh, Stav Stavi's World. By the way, speaking of which, he's, he's our next good, guest. Yeah, he's our next podcast. guest. Yeah, he's our next guest. Stavros, nice. Stavros Halkius, uh, coming into town. Uh, he taught us how to do the nearly nude calendar. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's the leader. We kind of yoinked that from him, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He invented the nearly nude really calendar. Did. Oh, he's incredible. I love Star Wars. Uh, by the way, we look like shit. Oh, do we? All of our images. You think so? Yeah. Like I, look, I think like, we look fine. Pretty, I think they took more time with yours. Oh, in the calendar. I thought you meant right now. I was like, I no, just got no, off no, a plane. A calendar. <laughs> calendar. Okay. I I thought that I looked at all of them. I I thought that we all looked pretty good in all the photos. <sighs> I might change one month to just me self sucking. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, so would you? Would you? Are you saying like not enough dick? Would you include your hog in that? I mean, I, I would do a tasteful angle mm. so that there's no dick. Okay, just like straight, like your your meme, like yeah. you would do it like yeah. the gif. Mm. Yeah, wow, can you touch your toes? Oh yeah, I can't touch my toes. Well, what? I've been doing a lot of yoga. Recently. I can I can barely go past my knees. Wait, try it right now. Show it on camera. That's cr the craziest thing I've ever. What? Your toes. There's no. Try shot. harder. Come on. Get, to, uh, get down there. What the fuck? Yeah. Is there something wrong with you? I mean, there is something wrong with you. I just, I just don't. Why are you so immobile? I don't know. I've always been that way. I mean, they say you should stretch. I you, stretch every day. You, do you not? No. I. Well, I mean, I, I know you don't because you can't touch your fucking toes. No, I can't. And Can you? Okay, wait, wait, hold on. And I'm really I mean, embarrassed. He can't touch hold his on. Ankles. No, pull I up, can't. pull up a, a PT like evaluation positions. Maybe that'll come up. Not, not YouTube. Wait, wait, just, wait, hold on. There's Can a couple I hire things. somebody to just make me more flexible? <laughs> because you have a personal trainer. I know, but he's not a physical therapist. I, I, it doesn't matter. I just want to hire somebody to come stretch me out every day. Here are a couple a things you ass. have to be able to figure out. <laughs> Austin, get up. In front of that big camera. No. I, I want you to try, turn around, and I want you to try to put, connect your two hands behind your back. One from underneath, one from, turn around, Ain't show no it to way. the camera. I can't even do that. So, the the flexible person, I mean, that it gets harder the stronger you are, but the a flexible person should be able to at least, like, get in one hand. Let me see. Well, yeah, March, you're frail. You're frail? Come here. Come here. What? Let me see. Okay. He's saying do it. Not bad. All right. The other way around. Oh, no. Oh. No, not bad. Not bad. That's not as bad as I think. Really? But you can do, see. Okay. I mean, look, I. I, want, I can also touch the. Here, touch your ankles. Your knees are bent. Straighten those up. Okay. Ooh, here now. Now give me a little slide. Slide your hands up your. <laughs> slide your hands up your. That was pretty sexy, to be honest. Hassan. Do that again, but then slide up real slowly, like and then like. No. Like slide up real. Come on, fans will love it. <laughs> Okay. So what else happened over the... Um, I flew on a plane, and uh, so I got a story for you. Okay. I went on a plane, sure, as I do, mm -hmm. and I sat next to this older lady. It happens to me a lot. Sure. I sit next to older women sometimes. And 
I uh, I have these bracelets that that fans will give me at TwitchCon or at Name Your Price. Yeah. As we do, we collect bracelets, and uh, like like one of them I have on is the F slur. I like to wear that one. I I, I take I pick and choose one. Well, somebody gave me one uh, that said Poppy, okay. which for those who don't know means Daddy in Spanish. <laughs> Right? Thank for you those for, of you who don't, <laughs> habla español. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for clarifying that. Yeah. I had no idea. Well, there's some people out there that don't know, right? And this woman happened to be one of them. She, she looks at my bracelet, and she's like, what does puppy mean? Okay. And I was like... That could be much worse than poppy. Yeah, no, she's like, what does puppy mean? I was like, she's like, doesn't that mean dad? Did your children make you that bracelet? That's so sweet. And she didn't see the one that said <laughs> the F slur. No, it was hidden. But I had to. So next thing you know, I'm in this like lengthy conversation t- talking to this woman about how I have children and they made me bracelets. You lied to what her. Am I, lie? What am I supposed to say? Just that, say that you're twink she, made. You just it. say it's your nickname. No, no, no. I don't. I the first thing I went, she said, "Did your kids make it for you?" I said, "Yes." You're the George Santos of Twitter. No, <laughs> that's so weird. Because but, 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 what am I supposed I, to? No, I wasn't at a drag show. I just no. this glitter hit me in the no. face as I was running. No, no, no. But it it was like I just had to explain to her that I just didn't want to say like she's like it, she thought it meant dad, like father. It not, it does mean not dad. daddy though, not in the sexual connotation. That they kind she, of mean the same. No, thing. no, no, no. I don't. No, pop padre is more like. <laughs> He hit the re. Yeah. You hear that? Yeah. Did you hear that? He, yeah. Padre. Padre. Yeah. Padre. No, no, padre. Oh, oh, um, Dios. padre. Oh, Dios mío. Yeah, right. Dios mío. Oh, Dios, who Dios are listening, mío. Uh, padre in, in Espanol padre. Is, means father. But like more so like you would call your dad father. <laughs> right? And if you were if you were to call him. You would, I <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't say it like that, right? Oh anyway. man! So you lied to a, a woman. I did. I did. Tell us about an your older, kids. an older. Tell us woman. about your kids. Uh, I, I said, I think I told her I had a five year old. Okay. Yeah. Boy, girl. What, what boy. is into soccer? What is he into? Uh, I we didn't get that. No, far Kaya, that's cutie. You want me? To, you want me to improvise? No, no. No, what, like just tell us. We didn't get to those conversations. She didn't up. ask you about your children. No, she just. I, I feel she like old people love were. children. What would you have done if she asked to see a photo? Uh, I I would have said I uh, I don't. He would have shown his twink. <laughs> <laughs> he would have been like, yeah, he's this is my this is oh, my five year old. So well built for he's, a five year old. He's just he just eats real good. Yeah. Kids these days, you know, <laughs> the iPad generation. Holy I don't know what shit. they're putting yeah. in the water. Holy shit! Wow, well, he's twenty three years old. He yeah. does ballet. Can't park a car. <laughs> Uh, can't even help with the navigation. I, I liked that story. That was good. Oh, this one's for you. Okay. Speaking of George Santos, did yeah. you see that they announced they're doing a movie? I did. I'm not. It's the least surprising thing I've heard. Is he going to make money off of this? Do you think? <laughs> no, no. I think like I, I think there's a rule that allows you to make stuff about like criminals and then <laughs> they don't get the likeness. No, there's there is a, there's a law. There's no, there's a parody rule where it's like if your reputation is so destroyed. Oh no, that's a defamation law. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So, no, what yeah. I'm talking about is a different thing. There's like a, there was like a serial killer. I think it was it like son of Sam or something. It might literally be that where um, I'm pretty sure there was a law that was uh, passed in the books I love that George Santos is that, up there with the son of Sam. Killer. Well, well, it's just like <laughs> for if you're a criminal, you can't yeah. sue to uh, retain your own likeness and like purchase it so you can get money off of it. What do you think he's next for George Santos? Dude, Dude television. I mean, oh, well, prison. Yeah. Well, prison first, but then after prison. <laughs> prison. Oh, prison. I think yeah. you should do porn. Who would watch that? You would watch? No, that's like a parody porn. You watch yeah, it one time. I would watch it. Yeah. You would crank it to George Santos. No, I wouldn't jerk off. I'd watch. That's it what for I sport. mean. It's like it's like fascination porn. You watch yeah. it one time and then it's over. Yeah, I know. I wouldn't jerk off to it, but I think it'd be interesting. Yeah, but if you don't He'd have make a, a lot re- of money on only, I think he would make a lot of money on only. No, he wouldn't. Just to just yeah, he would. I mean, he's so famous. He would do it for the one time, and then after that, everyone would be like, unless he went on fucking like like Anavar. It, unless he cycled wow. and then became like super shredded. The one thing you don't know about the gig <laughs> I should use you guys as a life coaching service. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Take Anavar, do, do fucking OnlyFans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Unless I mean, he I just. So. 
I no, think so. no. Would you, you do OnlyFans? You were about to say the gay I mean, community sure. has a lot of like niche interests. Every community does. It's not specific to the gay community. He would hit like, he would hit like one marker, which is, oh, I'm fascinated. George Santos made a porn. Let me go watch it. I'll do. It's a one time thing. He's not getting return customers, dog. Okay, you're right. But I would just, I just want him to do it because I want to see what it's like. Okay, you're just horny in the no, weirdest I'm not ways. Horny for George Santos. You I think what? you're horny you're tearing, for George Santos. You're tearing down I would both fuck our George ideas Santos today. Just to say I did. What? They, they, aren't there Wait, people? I'm sorry, people? what did you say? I would. F- say I it again. Say, I would, say it again. You know what? I don't think I would. I <laughs> you, you said you would fuck <laughs> George Santos. Just, I mean, imagine that. I don't want to. I don't want to. I am. I am. I don't want to. It's it's hard. It's hard for me to. I'm imagining everything but that. Out there that you would just have sex with, just to say you could. Like I'd have sex with Elton John. Yeah, Elton John is way different than George Santos. Yeah, you're like, you're like saying you would fuck the McConnell. Just that would ruin his career. Think about that. Wow, he, he's saying he's saying he's slinging dick for America. That's what I'm saying. It's he's patriotic. like patriotic. He's he's doing it in a way where Would he destroys. Say, think about it, Hassan. Think about it this way: You're so progressive, yeah, uh-huh. leftist. Uh-huh. Would you sleep with a prolific Republican politician to ruin their career? No, I when, when so, you put it when you put it like that so when you put for, it like that yeah. I I kind of get what you're saying. See what I'm saying? That's why I'd sleep. With, I get it. It's like espionage. Yeah. Now I can't defend the George <laughs> Santos because he's our, yeah. But, like, I can't defend George Santos because everybody knows he's gay. But, like, I need to sleep with, like... Yeah, no, that was just purely yeah. horn. But, no, You were horn. No, George you, Santos... You want to fuck guy. George Santos? You no, said I, it. I it's don't. on the record. Yeah. What I, I, you might have to roll that one back. No, 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 no. We are not rolling that. We, that no, no I mean, edits. I agree with you. He, no edits. Well, I mean, do you think that's bad for my image? No! <laughs> that you want to <laughs> wanna be dick deep inside of George Santos? The way you You want to punish him? You want to punish him? romantic Because he's been a bad boy? No. What's the most horrible person... Like to have a gay romance. <laughs> <laughs> the most horrible person I'd like to have a gay romance with. Like, uh, 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 who's a shitty person that would ruin their? Career? Who like I? I just like ruin them by Ted having Cruz. sex with them. I I can't get it up with Ted Cruz. Oh, but like, you could get it up for no. You, all you have to do is receive. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I'm taking it. Yeah, you're. He's taking oh, it. Oh no. George way. Santos. If I could. Ruin, you think George Santos is a top? I do. If I could ruin Ted Cruz or DeSantis, just humiliate one of them. I don't think George Santos is the top, but I haven't seen his partners. So You're typecasting because he did drag. No, you can you can be a a, a person who does drag and be a top. I'm typecasting I, I because he's like very something. Fem tops are very fem tops are Blouses? are very rare. Yeah, exactly, they're very rare. So it's like George Santos does give a little. He is a little fem. Yeah, not my, I'm, I'm 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 really cooking here. <laughs> I'm thinking we could ruin the Republican Party by sending several gay secret agents. Also, what you're describing has happened so many times and the Republican Party is still standing. Yeah. They literally get caught, not just with like age-appropriate male prostitutes, but age-inappropriate male That's prostitutes true. regularly. That's what I hear. And it seems like but they're we need, still we fine. Need to hit, we need to like hit them all at Wasn't once. Wasn't there some statistic that when the Republican National Convention comes into any town, like gay porn searches explode really? it's like yeah. it's the least surprising thing i've heard yeah. but yeah that that makes that so makes so much you? sense who would you have a gay romance with who would i have a romance? i didn't even answer mine but okay. i but it's trump it's trump you would he, i mean he, what was that gonna do to his reputation dude i it wouldn't i actually you're right he might win yeah. he might win extra hard now, now america knows my big secret <laughs> i'm a homosexual <laughs> yeah he and would win so hard all <laughs> that locker room talk was just compensation i didn't feel believe adequate. me yeah the Hassan liberals was, don't want me Hassan was very sloppy believe me <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sometimes i like reaching across the aisle other times i like reaching underneath <laughs> Called him whiny Hank. That's right. Yeah. Believe me, he couldn't even take it. Believe me. It yeah. Was very sad. First of all, I could. Okay. How dare he said, you? My ass is powerful. <laughs> I, I take big shits. Oh. You know I who had this conversation I would with the have a gay romance with? Who? The leader of North Korea. Oh, yes. Okay. Like okay. That's I- awesome. Tell me why. We could free a nation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if the God King. Do you think your dick is that good? No, I'm just, I'm just. How saying. come he's fucking and I'm bottoming? <laughs> yeah. 
You just oh, automatically not, went. I mean, he's topping. Between, because... the, between the two of you, he's he's. Yeah, if you were no. fucking, he yeah. would fuck you. Yeah. No, absolutely fucking oh, not. He, he would put absolutely you, he would not. Put you in the electric chair. I will. Drop. I am going to stand by. This is your by. most based take. <laughs> I'm telling no, you. it's a ridiculous take. You don't know your ass from your Hassan. elbow, Hassan. I oh. I personally sound off in the chat. <laughs> I personally know that if if needed, this is an ass that can go to work. However. <laughs> However, <laughs> preference wise, preference wise, dude, I'm 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 topping. It's well, you don't yeah. get a preference. I would yeah, top. Sure. I would top Donald Trump. You would top. Donald I've talked Trump. about topping Donald Trump. That is a nasty. He's got a fat That's one. A, he's got an ass. Oh, he's got an ass that won't oh, quit. Yeah, it, he does. Oh, I'm sure. Ooh, gravity has God. taken. Hold Marsh, pull it up. Pull up body. Trump's bussy. Let's just oh, take a look please. at it. Wait, is no, 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 do it, do it. Wait, is bussy or is? No, Trump ass. Like, that's it. What do you mean? For those of you at home, Marsh put his hands up like this and said, what do I look up here? Wow. Yeah, oh, look, that, wow, that's look a, that. that's an iconic one. All caked Ooh, up. Wow. That's an iconic one. That's that nice. one is iconic. Look at that ass, dude. Do you think if he lost a bunch of weight, he'd lose his butt? Yes. This is. Yeah. Yes. This is not. Uh, Trump is fat. We should be doing a tier list of like who out of all the politicians who has the best ass. I like, I like, I like that Kim Jong Un. That'd be yeah. great. So you would free the nation. So you're I saying you you would liberate North Korea by fucking Kim Jong Un. That's that's my platform. Your dick is that good. Well, your dick game. Is I, that I would good. I would erode the people's confidence in the glorious later. Isn't that if I leak one night in Kim to all the monitors in North Korea? Oh yeah. And I got him on a dog leash. You know what I mean? What if you just came into power and just kept the dynasty alive? <laughs> I just, I just don't change yeah. anything. He's a, he's, a, he's a swagged out white boy. That's People what they need. People of North Korea, I am the glorious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Dun, you just say your, you say your, you say your Kim Il Sung reincarnated. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yep. <laughs> so that would mean he, his dad is fucking his son. Or his granddad. Listen, is you don't know how God look, kings nobody, work, okay? okay? Okay, look, they, they, I wasn't putting the story together, but no. At Marsh, what All was right. one of your topics? I have, I have, oh, a, I have a topic. Oh, I have a topic. Okay. Uh, I, my family's trying to kill me. What? Oh, my God. family I don't is trying know if to. That's a topic. It's not. It's, <laughs> it is a, a topic. Help us yeah, it is a yeah, topic. Yeah, that's a dude, dude. That's okay, a okay. Please. I don't know if you guys have like. Uh, I, I guess you don't have like similar issues. I, I love my family to death. Obviously, they're the best. Sure. And they've been staying with me. And I usually have like very hard lines on what is allowed and what's not allowed when it comes to the diet stuff. Okay. Mm. And slowly but surely, they have eroded all of those lines. And now. Are you getting fat again? I'm not, but like it, I'm, I'm noticing that it's like very, it's much yeah, harder we, we for me to. Too. Oh yeah, come on! We were Don't just say that. About it. No, I, I, I'm doing. I'm doing great on the diet little, front. You walk so with far. a little extra jiggle. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, I have body dysmorphia. Stop. I'm just kidding. So we're helping you. We're helping no, you. you're yeah. not. So what has happened is like at first my dad was like, "Of course I'll make you whatever you uh, whatever you know you want," which is like I have like very strict guidelines on like sure. what kind of chicken I have and stuff, but then. Slowly but surely, it has culminated into this point where, like, last night, we're having dinner. It's just totally fucking fatty-ass food. And on top of that, he goes, you know what I'm in the mood for? A cookie dough cheesecake. Mm. And he just fucking busted out a cookie dough cheesecake and propped it in front of me okay. and went and looked at me and went, Listen, I, aren't you in the mood for it, too? I and will say this it? in his defense. It's the fucking holidays. Yeah. If you don't gain... A 10 spot during the holidays? I can't. Can't. I can't because, like, I, I've been doing so well. I've been doing so well. Use and it like, as your bulking period. I add to my biceps in the holidays. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I just I, get big. I mean, that's how you do it. I just, if I, if I was presented in that situation, Hassan, I would just not eat the cheesecake. Yeah, you have self-control. I don't. That's why I'm like, that's why I have different boundaries. Oh, Which my okay. family is not respecting yeah, yeah. at I all. I order. It's like for him, if you know someone just brought out, you know, a twin. heroin. Oh, and yeah. A, and, and or, he, or yeah, if you were like, "Hey, I'm swearing off bussy," okay, and your family was like, "Here, here is a Sean Mendez impersonator." Yeah. Next to a we've, Troy Savon impersonator. We've greased him up. 
Oh yeah, there's no way. And yeah. they're gonna wrestle for our enjoyment. I mean, I I would. I mean, that's that's not even too. That's not even comparable. One. Yes, cheese, it is. Yes, it is. To me, you've never been a fat kid. To me, one is a cheesecake. A cheesecake. Is a beautiful man. Yes, I take the cheese. Uh, do you not understand how analogies hold work? On, but hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> what is happening? Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> See, you're, you're you're telling me a beautiful, a beautiful. Do we have to walk you through this. A beautiful guy <laughs> with a beautiful butt, oiled up, is the same as a beautiful uh, cheese. Is, is to me, yes, yes, yes. To me, if you put if you put Troy Savon in front okay, of me, me I would like not this. give a shit. Your favorite hottest woman in the world, spread eagle, and then a cheesecake. Which one are you eating? Cheesecake. How good is the cheesecake? Really? How long has it been since I've had the cheesecake? Uh, I, I, it's been weeks. But uh, these are these are important you factors. You'd rather eat the cheesecake than eat the girl that was right there. Depends. That's crazy. Uh, this one's a coin flip. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. You guys are both fat kids. That's what I hear. Yeah. Yeah. This I've is why we laugh at you when you say, "Oh, I'm a fat well, kid no, too." I, my strategy to stay skinny is I order a bunch of junk food, and I think. I think I don't want to even hear that. You, I hate. No, no, no. This no, is no. going to be. I've this said is going to be frustrating. Throw it out. No, no, no. I don't throw it out. I, I put it in my bedside table. I, they're perish. They're non perishables. I, this is my new thing. I, I order trail I mix, want, uh, checks mix, whatever. Okay, let me stop you there. And then I get. Stoned. Let me stop you there, what? dude. You just said you're your fat kid. You ordered checks mix. Stuff is trail mix and checks mix. You what are the, you? Are you a squirrel? You know. You what know, are you doing? You know how much? It, there's 17 grams of fat in a small package. I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat him to death. <laughs> in a I'm small package in trail mix. Him. I'm so mad. Okay. All right. It is a healthy fat. He's not. I'll give you that. He's not. He's not there fucking with us. This is how he. This no, is serious. how he works. And then I get very stoned and there I fall M &M asleep before. He I can said eat. there are M and M's in there. There's like eight M and M's in the fucking package. Yeah, look, what I'm saying is, is I get very stoned. I ate a get full bag enough, of flaming hot Cheetos last night. Jesus Christ! Last night, my mom opened up an entire bag of Trader Joe's chips, which I proceeded to put inside of my ice cream. That's. Like, I have no right. control. I have right. no self-control. I'll tell you this. I, I had a little fun last night, too. Shut up. Okay. I had, Shut your I had, fucking, I fucking mouth. Hear it. I, I don't want to fucking hear it. Two bags of Smart Pop. <laughs> I'm not Can even, we kill him? I'm not Can even, we kill him? I'm not even joking. I said, two bags of Smart Pop. Wow. Bags, and, and I shared a bag of, a small bag of barbecue chips with... <laughs> With with the He's doing it to room. rub it in. I'm not even kidding. That's He's what doing I doing it to rub it. I'm, in. I'm serious. I'm not even joking. I feel like my eyebrows twitching, <laughs> twitching from how angry I am at you right now. Why do you do this? It's like last night I went to a restaurant. I was feeling so naughty. I got a second order of white fish. <laughs> <laughs> I did actually. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I had yeah. sushi for dinner. Okay. Yeah, it was delicious. How do you how do you do this? I I just look. Like, my point is, well, I don't I have, have to make. Look, Listen, some, I don't have self control. I, my family's us, fucking me this. up. Look. I will say this: you're not the only one whose family <coughs> is trying to kill them. What are okay? you? Is your family trying to kill you? With the food, yeah. The, okay. My family definitely pushes. Food. How was your Thanksgiving? It was great. It was awesome. In the, uh, uh, go ahead. Tell me about the food that they're trying to kill you with. I mean, they push food. They push desserts. Mm. Yeah. But you don't have a sweet tooth. I don't. So, so you have that power. I have a sweet tooth. So, like, I can't, I can't fucking stop myself. Like, I'll have like a little bit. I'll have a little bit of cookie dough, and then it's like, nah, it's it's the it's the fats. Yeah, that hit. Yeah, me. like the fried foods. Yeah. My weaknesses are French fries and tater tots and ranch. Okay, that's fair. That's, that's like. Real. That's normal. That's, that's the first pop. normal thing you've ever said. Yeah, it's not smart pop. I dip them yeah. in honey mustard and ranch, and that's when I get really crazy. I weighed 170 pounds I don't even want to know what he means when he says he gets really crazy. We're going even... to move on before I kill him. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Marsh, yeah. give me a topic. Oh. Taylor, okay. we're gonna skip that. Cutie's not here. Ooh, I right. heard about this new drug that could expand the lifespan of dogs and cats. Oh yeah, it where's that the... for humans? You live like a hundred years. No, I want. I want. Why don't we? Why can't we get a vaccine where we double our lifespan? Would you want to live two hundred years? Not if I age. Okay. If you looked young for another hundred oh, years, if I looked young, I'd live forever. I if I, yeah, if I stayed at this age, it's over. It's Always. Over. Do you ever just think like, I'd be a vampire? Mm, would you just want to live forever? Yeah, I just, I just, I everyone when I get stoned, I just all, sit there and I think like this is all going to end one day, and I'm just going to be it's going to be black. It's terrifying. Yeah. I don't know. I just that's a random thing. It just terrifies me. It's not. It's not that random. It's pretty normal to think that, but. Um, 
You know, that yeah. should also, you should, there should be a follow-up there where you're like, and that's why I live life to the fullest, like that kind of thing. Oh, okay. Or does that not happen for you? No, I mean, it just, I, it's only when I get high. When I'm sober, it's not the way it is. I don't okay. think that way. I'm not, yeah, anyway, the drug, <laughs> what do you think? Huh? <laughs> I mean, it's great. Yeah, it's great. I heard about this for cats, too. Yes. Yeah, which I'm, I'm so excited. I think it could expand the lifespan of cats to like 30. But that's awesome. Yeah. I'm Bro, so excited. Bro, you don't want a fucking bitch-ass cat for 30 years? No, you kid. I want my, my cats. Are, that means I get another fucking 15 years with my cats. Dog, that's awesome. your cat can't even fucking survive you going away <laughs> when there's like <laughs> still water at home. You know, know what I mean? I know, but How the fuck? 30 years of that cat being alive? You're going to fucking cripple the entire water infrastructure of Portland, My dude. cat is, it's a strange cat. <laughs> He's a very strange cat. Oh, that. I yeah. feel like all cats are strange. Yeah. Um, Knott's Berry Farm looking for content creators to join ambassador program? Hell yeah. Can we do that? Wait, wait, are they? Knott's Berry. I would love to do that. We can go on roller coasters Let, together? Let's, let's, spo- let's get do sponsored they... by Knott's Berry Farm and do yes! a podcast. Do they have roller coasters? Oh my God. Berry farm? What, if we did a ro- what if we did a podcast on a roller coaster? Yes. Where it just kept going. Yes. I shit my pants. For like 20 minutes. I would love that. That'd be awesome. I would love that. I would shit my pants. Th- people have done that before, haven't they? I don't know if they've done an entire podcast. On I would one. love that. By like the 10th minute, you'd be in, you'd be in trouble. Perfect. Okay. I, think, I think it'd be entertaining. I'm down for that. Hassan, would you do it? Mm. Sure, why not? Okay, I think I think we need to shoot. You're so enthusiastic. I think about we need to shoot ideas. for this Knott's Berry Farm I, I, endorsement. I'm fine. I mean, Knott's Berry Farm. If you're listening, <laughs> yeah, we're we're ready. That's right, folks. At Knott's Berry Farm, our body is ready. Yeah. We're physically ready, mind, body, soul. We're gonna do it. Yep. Um, we're gonna do the. We're gonna get the sponsorship. Yeah, I love. All that. right, what else do we have on here? Wooly Mammoth. Oh, is show the Tesla. Back. Can we get back to the Tesla truck? Because the Tesla truck crash test seems questionable. Is a pretty good one. And there was well, one other point that yeah, I wanted I, to make. I know they're like, oh, it has no crumple zones. The other car is the crumple zone. <laughs> I know, but you you do realize like <laughs> no crumple zones means like you perish no matter what. What's a no, crumple zone? You're going through the other vehicle. I know, but when you're, but it doesn't matter because like the other person's squishy body is breaking my impact. Mm, the, here's okay, so that's a missile, but right. if you were sitting inside of a missile, it ultimately is going to hit an object that it forces it to stop. So right, not if you're going fast enough. Yeah. Well, yeah. it doesn't matter though, because like if you go through a fucking wall, what Will's saying is that he may get impact, slowed down. The impact yeah, right. of of hitting a wall will turn you. Your physical body into mush. Not if you hit it hard enough. That that or just don't hit the wall. Okay, that's yeah. fair. That if you don't hit the wall, you're right. Um, just don't crash. The other thing that I find very funny about the the Tesla truck is that in America, it, it te- the Tesla truck will most likely not be sold in Europe because it's so pointy. <laughs> it's so like it has jagged edges yep. all around it. Which America is the only country on the world, if I'm not mistaken, that does not have the the uh, the legal restrictions on cars not having any jagged edges. I think it's called like a there's like a pedestrian clause, basically, that you can't have you can't have jagged edges in your car because like you can accidentally have a bike crash into it, even if right. it's like stable, and then you fucking impale yourself on the car. Right. Or if, like, a baby well, falls. Well, we need a way to deter people to stop biking in this country. I hit a biker once. <laughs> what? I did. I, and I'm going to I'm gonna come clean about it, and I'm going to tell it on the podcast. What, are you going to jail? No, 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 no. No, I, it, I was not at fault. Okay? What? I was making... You were definitely <laughs> at fault. No, no, no. There is no world in which no, no, no. you in a car are not at fault. First of all, the biker hit me. I was driving the vehicle, proceeding down... An anonymous Avenue. All right. I proceeded to make a left hand turn. The biker behind me went around me on the left hand side and hit my door. Wow. Biker survived, but it was his fault. <laughs> no, no, no. When you make, no, no, no. <clears throat> In the United States of America, when you drive on, the, we drive on the right side of the road. If somebody is oh. behind you and you make a left turn, you're not supposed to go around him on the left side. You're sure. supposed to pass him on the right. Was there a bike lane? No. In the bike lane, if it was, it was on the right side. He, he went into oncoming traffic to pass me. Bikers be crazy. And so I hit him. 
I, in fact, I did it on purpose. Listen, I'm just kidding. I didn't. Uh, <laughs> I didn't do it. All jokes aside, the, yeah, the Tesla truck does look dangerous. Uh, there's that crash video, or at least the uh, images where it's like it just doesn't crumple at all. Yeah, it, it hits the. There is a crumple zone in the in the. Uh, in the front of it, but it's like very tiny and you're supposed to have it throughout the entire car so it survives the passenger. I think we have to remind people that a very dangerous car being allowed on the market, this wouldn't be the first instance of this. What was that car that just kept blowing up? Uh, Ford Pinto. Ford Pinto. Yeah, this could be the new Ford Pinto, baby. I mean, Libertarian is... Well, <laughs> Teslas also blow up a lot. So, I mean, not not more than like... the Not like as much as Ford Pinto, but... It, Again, another car that just looks sick, though. It does look cool. <laughs> Pinto looked... Tough. Look how sick it looks when it... it keep off my rear. I'm explosive. That's Holy awesome. Shit. Oh. Wait, so you would hit them and they would just explode? They would just yeah. blow up. That's awesome. Not... <laughs> did a lot of people die, I'm sure, and it was very <laughs> sad. But... <laughs> but yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I've been getting dragged for my Spotify wrapped. Who's writing that? Do you, do you, know, do you, know, who, um, do you know what Spotify wrapped is? Yes. So for those that don't know, Spotify um, uh, every year puts together like a summary of your top songs, top artists that you listen to over the course of the year. And I release my Spotify rap. Shall we bring it up? Can we put it up? Pull it up, Marsh? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's right there in the document. I release my Spotify rap, and I've been getting... Torch for it on Twitter. Uh, here's my Spotify rap. Here's my top artists. Stevie Ray Vaughn? Yep. Oh, my God. Dean Martin? Peppino Gagliardi? Okay. Peppino Gagliardi? Who the fuck is Peppino Gagliardi? <laughs> Dude, you don't know about Peppino Gagliardi? So, hold on. So, hold on. First of all, Elvis Presley uh, it, it needs no... <laughs> needs no... <laughs> From Brooks, this guy is 80 years old. Is so true. So... Um, Pepino Gagliardi. You have the taste of a racist. <laughs> what? You, yeah, like you have the There music. is not one person of color on your top five. Whoa, 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 no, it, but it's not even just Dean that. Martin, he's Italian. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, no, what I meant by what I was saying, you, which you perfectly followed up on, is that like, like most of your most of your faves yeah. are from an era where black people did not have rights. And neither did gay people. Yeah, wow, that doesn't that save you. That was a reversal. You. That doesn't save you in this situation. <laughs> I thought it was pretty you are you have the taste of an eighty five year old man. Doesn't make I, me a racist. Marsh, it, I, Taylor Swift is. I there. need it's, to hear a Pepino Gagliardi. Okay, so hold on. Pe Just um, give me a second. Pepino Gagliardi is an Italian singer from the seventies. Um, hold on. Let me look up my favorite Pepino There's song. An, what, it's name, here in name Spotify one rap. Song. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, 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 is this your driver's it, music? It's, we listen to it together. <laughs> oh! 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 oh my God, it's Davide! No, no, Did no, no, you put up Davide's Spotify rap? Hold on, hold on. How the hell am I supposed to remember the title of this? One of the songs is Chuvole Questa Musica Stasera. Okay, how the hell am I I don't remember the name of it. All right, play uh, me some Pepino. Here, uh, you want me to play it on the, on the, on the thing here? Yeah, come here. on. Chuvole Questa, there it is. Yeah. Okay. okay, okay. I gotta have some Pepino in my life. Pepino. Dude, I feel like this is so old, copyright doesn't work anymore. Like, what's Pepino gonna do? Fucking copyright us? He's dead. What the? This is your top listen. I'm pretty it's sure it's a great song. listen to it. Okay, I've had enough. Thank you. There's no way Pepino. What is the fucking vibes for this? Like, this is w driving through Los Angeles with my driver Davide. Sometimes we take a scenic route over the hills yeah. in Burbank. Beautiful day. Pepino Gagliardi on the Spotify. You've never been to the hills yes, at all. I have. Are you? Kidding? I used to go to Burbank all the time. G four. We used to drive over the hill. Oh, that's what. That's when Pepino was. Popping. Pepino was blasting and Dean Martin, Pepino. Uh, <laughs> and Taylor Swift. Pepino. Um. So yeah. So that's my people have been dragging me for my music taste. I think I've got a lot of great. You, you are worthy of being dragged. Um. Okay. I mean, I, I my top songs were. I guess even worse. Um, you want to see my top songs of the year? I yes. Would okay, love hold on. To. Here are my top songs. Let me get it. it it's going to be four, Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons is in there. Uh, I don't know. You have to see. 
Uh, Frank Sinatra is in there. It, it, just songs. Think about songs. Because this is my whole rap. Here, here it is. Uh, C.C. Ryder? Yes, I see C.C. Ryder. Oh, yeah. Rush? I uh, feel the rush. Oh, so. Okay. Escapism? The hot broke bitch, high heel, six inch in the back of the nightclub, sipping champagne. Put um, put um, okay. What's so put um, put um? Kylie Minogue. Kylie Minogue is a queen. Yeah. yeah. I, okay. I so, I mean, my your top, top song. songs are gay as fuck. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Well, it goes old in that order. It goes like, CC Rider, old, Rush, gay, escapism, gay, Padam, gay, on an evening in Roma. Do you have a rap? No, I don't. What do you I, mean you don't? He doesn't you listen to music. No, I don't. I actually, I actually you don't have Spotify. I so me and my cousin, like my cousin has a Spotify because he's in Turkey. Ever since I was a broke boy, I've just been like using his Spotify because he's on it on the opposite time that I'm on it. What? That so, is. How do you listen ludicrous. to music? No, listen, listen. You steal Spotify from your cousin. Yeah, but the here's the thing, I never use it anymore anyway because I never listen to music. I do not listen to music. If my Spotify, if I had like an actual wrapped, it would be shit that I listen to on the stream. That's and I could tell you off top dome, it'd be like the, the, all of the Hasanabi music that my community's made. All right, do you and then it'd be Spotify Cholima rap? on the wing, the, the Democratic People's Republic of Korea army uh, songs. Wait, what? You yeah. listen to the DPRK army songs? Yeah, it's fucking sick. If you ever, okay, play Cholima on the wing. I know Will is going to actually appreciate it. C H O yeah, it's my. I can't hold on. Play that, play that, play that's that. on. And show the music video too. I can't I, believe I'm getting shit on no, no, for no, Pepino. No, no, it's not gonna get copyrighted. Watch this shit, Will. Listen to the fucking. Listen to the laconic melodies, okay? Okay. Ain't no way you're gonna get hooked on this. Hey, 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 hey. This is I, ass. Hold on. I get shit on for listening to Pepino Galliardi and you're listening no, to this is, this is bad. Wait, no, keep playing it. What do, oh my God. It's a fucking absolute jamborini. First of all, you That's are a hypocrite because I've this, enough, this genre of like, I don't even know what I would be considering it. Like, obviously it's like marching music, but the, the background Propaganda. is like very similar. Yeah. The, it, the, 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 the beats that they're using is kind of similar to that same era of Turkish music that you listen to all the fucking time. No. Yes, the, like the funky... No. The funky That's... saz. I don't know what it uh, what it's called. All right, you want, my, you want my... Wrapped. My wrapped is... Grum is my number one artist. Mondo Grosso is number two. Roy Davis Jr., number three. Swedish Ooh. House Mafia, number four. Okay. Fred what? again, number five. Yeah, Swedish House Mafia had a year, brother. And then my top songs are Gabriel, Pearls by Sade, Strong by Fred again, Where Are You, and Tell It to My Heart, which is a very gay song. Tell it to my heart. Yeah. Tell me I'm the only one. But I. When do you listen to that type of music? In the gym? Uh, Yeah. But Sade is always on How many the top minutes five. did you have? Um, uh, 13,000. Wow, I had 43,000 minutes. Damn. It's because I just listen to music on the plane mostly. Um, I never listen to music. You, what but do you do? What, my number do one song was this song called Gabriel Played. Here, pl pull that up. What do you do on a plane, Hassan? I play video games. On a plane? Yeah, on my Steam Deck. Yeah, I do the same. Oh, shit. Yeah, I don't, I don't listen. I, don't, I have no... Yeah, this is. I never have an opportunity year. to even listen to music because, like, every opportunity that I have to myself, I am listening to uh, podcasts so and go news. Like halfway in, yeah. So anytime I was working, I had this on. This is by Roy Davis Jr. It's pretty good. I know this song. It's a bop. It's good. A bop. Look, better than fucking Mr. Pepino over here. I'll uh, tell you that Pepino much. Pepino Gagliardi. There's going to be a lot of fans in the comments that are going to come after you. Pepino Gagliardi. No, they're not. Because every single person that knows who he is, is dead. <laughs> oh, no. He, yeah. Pepino himself just died uh, last week. Or a few weeks Wait, ago. Wait, really? Uh, yes, a few weeks. I don't know what it is. But every time I get hooked on an artist, they die. 
Which I think is like... I do know what it is. <clears throat> you listen to 800-year-old artists. No. That no. are like on, a, on their no, no. last leg. No, no, no. When I, in 2009, when I was on a Michael Jackson kick, I had Who's Loving You as my ringtone. And Do you died. think you killed Michael Jackson? I don't, I don't think so. But also, I was on a Prince kick, and he died too. Yeah. I, I'm serious. I kid you not. And I, at Pepino, I listened to him for what's, a year, and he kicked the What's wild to me is that, like, even back in 2009, your tastes were still, like, kind of 20, old. 20, 30 years. Yeah. In 2009, I was, like, f- but not born. <laughs> Oh. Just kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, I'm how kidding. old were you in 2009 when you were listening to Prince? Like 14, I think. 13. Well, maybe. I don't remember. It's been a long time. <laughs> no, 14 is accurate. I was 14 in 2009. So what is that? <laughs> Crunching numbers. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right, let's... let's. I, I want to get to this last thing. The Wooly Mammoth uh, de-extinction project is underway. Mm. We're bringing... Dangerous. We're bringing... Wo- what? Dangerous. <laughs> I'll tell you why. Go ahead. When, Are you Jurassic in, parking me right yeah. now? I'm, I, I'm dangerous. Are you Jurassic parking me right don't now? Don't fuck with know. nature like that. Uh, life, <laughs> fine. Are you Jeff Goldblooming? Uh, yes. Do, do the line. I've never watched Jurassic Park. What? <laughs> you are doing a bit from Jurassic Park and you've never seen the movie? I've never seen it. You disgust me. I've never seen any of the Jurassic Parks. You're worse than a Pepino Gabliardi. <laughs> I've, never seen, I've never seen any of the Jurassic Parks. I've, you I've, only need to see one. I understand the concept. Don't fuck with nature. You understand the oh, of one of the greatest movies ever. Okay, I, I hate yeah. to be that guy, but come on, Jurassic Park. I understand the concept. Don't fuck with nature. Don't bring back dinosaurs. Okay, okay, okay. Bring <laughs> back the mammoth. You. There is literally no way it could go wrong. Oh, okay. Tell Wait, us. What do you think is going to happen with the mammoth? They are going to be King Kong style, fucking taking. It's over. a big hairy elephant. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to be wearing. When did they go extinct? So many years ago. Uh, um, Ice Age. Ice right? Age. I thought that they were recent. Oh. Yeah. Well, I was wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be wearing mammoth skin coat, and y'all are going to be like, damn. So I well, love that. We should bring back We should bring back all the dinosaurs. So that's the question. What, what would you bring back? Everything. Everything? The T-Rex. No! Yes! No, that is actually the Jurassic no. Park meme. There is a real I, and present date. I, I think we should bring back the T-Rex. For what reason? Oh, now, now, hold on. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I don't understand how why do they, they're how doing How do they put that. a date on it? Why, why they're doing it? I mean, a, a, it could be a source of a new fur. I love this. That we no, use. I, I'm all about this. Like I think we, we should... shear sheep. We could shear a mammoth. Okay. So a new just... sustainable fur. Wait, Hold on. Wait, Think about my, this way, Hassan. We are my, nature. Uh, email. Hassan, we are nature. Mm. We are human beings. We are a product of nature. Sure. We were given the intelligence to be able to bring back other things, right? So everything that we do on this earth yeah, no, is you, natural and beautiful. Yeah, right? yeah, no, definitely, definitely. We should we should play God. I like it. Uh, I think we should bring back petrodactyls. Okay. Well, Wait, what? Why? Ter- Can you imagine instead of having a horse, you have a pterodactyl? Sustainable travel overnight? They are, they're going to eat us. I got an idea. No, we could train them. Just like a horse. Will. Bro, they're ugly as hell. I've got the reason for T-Rexes. Okay. We, they could fight our wars. Your idea is a fucking organic nuke? We like, you, you think okay. that's a good you, idea? You literally went... Full Jurassic Park. Because that's like Jurassic Park 3. Isn't when the, the government is like, we need to use these dinosaurs for war fighting. Oh, that, I haven't seen the movie. How are you guys doing the entire Jurassic Park film? <laughs> this is franchise? how they thought of it? Is this a bit? I'll are be you honest. Guys doing no, a bit? I'm starting no. to think that Jurassic Park actually had some good ideas. Oh, my. Yeah, as in like talking about the dangers of like using an animal, no, no, but playing think- God, and also using it for death and destruction. Okay. Oh, what could go wrong? No, no. I think I know T Rex should be dangerous, but God, think about the money we could make. Who's <laughs> we? Like, like. Okay, I haven't seen Jurassic Park, but listen, <laughs> what if we created like a theme park slash zoo? 
<laughs> okay, then, this is a bet. And then you people, guys coordinated and then, before this. And then people could just go and attend. And and obviously you could control the animals. Like maybe some of them you could give to the federal government as like the defense department for, for defense purposes. Legitimate question. Yeah. Did they study homosexuality in the dinosaur kingdom? <laughs> I'm I'm ser- I'm dead serious. Okay, let me just explain something to you. Okay, animals, right, that are not human, are already gay as fuck. Like, there's no sexuality. <laughs> Nobody ever. Animals don't think Holes about it hole, like that. Baby. Yeah. So I know they don't think like I was just curious. So dinosaurs would probably I also be gay as tooting. fuck. All right. Anyway, sorry. What, really? Yeah, she's continue. That she was, had a bunch of food. I'm detracting. From, from uh, oh my god, somebody looked it up. Is there any evidence? Somebody looked it up. Is a Reddit homosexual post. behavior is a well documented <laughs> in modern animals. But were there any gay bars in the land of bef- what? Uh, what's the comments? They're probably they're probably stupid. Uh, did I win a prize because homosexual? Okay, yes. The answer is yes. It it had to. Do you been. feel better about bringing back the dinosaurs? I do. I do. I think I think it's progressive. What what dinosaur would you bring back? You uh, said T Rex to sell to the military. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And what also, what would you bring back? I think. We, we oh, I like, like I like one. the big boys, like the what is it, the Stegosaurus or whatever, like okay. the ones that are not carnivorous. Herbivores. And, yeah, the herbivores that are just like chilling. So uh, Brontosaurus or Stegosaurus? Uh, I probably would go with Nah. Stegosaurus can't really ride, so Brontosaurus. That one's like really big. How about the giraffe looking ones? Put him in fucking Wisconsin, you know what I mean? Or Montana. Like, there's so much fucking space there. Okay. Just turn the entirety of Montana into, like, a dino space. Yeah, so, like, that brings up the moral issue. Do we let them roam free? But their natural habitat doesn't exist anymore. Uh, That's right. That's why you put them in Montana. So they would evolve into something else that we didn't even... No, that would take know, thousands. Do you know how long evolution takes? I mean, it would take a minute. Do you know what the... Di- Wait... Wait, before, without without looking this up, statement. without looking this up, I have a question for you. Do you know what like modern animal is is direct descendants of dinosaurs? Lizards. Most animals are, but do you know what? Well, give me a very uncommon animal that you think dinosaurs that we have like in our daily lives that like we crocodiles, chicken, chicken, chickens. Or yes, really. That's what evolution looks like, dog. Over the course of thousands of years. Of oh, course. yeah, that duh. They had birds, like weird birds. That's what I'm saying. Petrodactyl. No, but chicken is like a chicken is a descendant of what? Look, let's, uh, I, I, crocodiles was on there. Yep. Yeah, chicken is a descendant of what kind of animal, though? What kind of dino? Number two is crocodile. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's what I wanted to stress here. How the here. hell, what about evolution turned them into that? Scarcity of resources. Um, that's awesome. Well, also they were they were made extinct pretty much. I, I'm saying asteroid. though, petrodactyl travel. Okay. Can you imagine being able to ride a dragon <laughs> to your mom's house That'd for Thanksgiving? Awesome. No more having to deal with Southwest. Yeah, you just hop on your petrodactyl, yeah. pterodactyl. I don't know why I keep saying that because I pee in front, and you just cruise there. That'd be sick. That'd I'd be, be scared. Sick. It'd be a little scary. I don't know. I, like, that's like biking in space. Like, I, that's so terrifying. It'd be cool, though. At I'd be down point, to do it. Would you be willing to take a risk, though, to ride a dragon? Yeah, I think I think so. I mean, it, it cuts down on traffic quite a bit. So yes. that's a big that's a big deal, I think. Greenhouse gas is gone. Which, I mean. which dinosaur would you like as a pet? If I had full control over one, it'd be the T-Rex. What, you, what would yours be? I said Brontosaurus. I like those. They're big Wait, boys. You, you'd have a T Rex as a pet. What's yeah. the little like aggressive ones? Uh, Velociraptor. Yeah, they're not that little though. They're still like bigger than a huge. They're like ostrich size. <laughs> I, I isn't there the one called the Armadon? That's like, it's got like the basically mace on its tail. And it's got like armor all over it. No, this. Just, just look up like armor tail dinosaur. Yeah. Armor tail. So, yeah. Yeah, that one. What's his name? That's like a, uh, what is it? On a platypus. An Lylosaur. No, Ankylosaurus? Ankylosaurus, yeah, that. 
So are we definitely bringing back the woolly mammoth? Yeah, it's happening. It's like for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you can't do nothing about it, dog. You can't even they, stop it. Are they like... I wonder if PETA has anything to do. I just don't understand why we're fucking bringing back mammoths at a time of like unprecedented global heating. Do you think we'll eat them? As a consequence of anthropogenic climate change. So like <laughs> we literally have a structure. We we literally have a fucking ecosystem that is like not even sustainable for goddamn polar bears. And we're like, here, let's bring back the one fucking animal that like got wiped out because it wasn't cold enough. <laughs> Wooly mammoth tacos. It makes no fucking sense. What are we going to do? Put them in a fucking freezer? And then use extra energy to, like, keep them alive? Oh, they live in the cold. They're an elephant with hair. That's right. Yeah. I, I think it's... Yeah, I, I think it's crazy. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. I mean, it was also a lot colder back then. Bro, it's cool I'm trying to restore. When I show up to the function in a mammoth skin coat, y'all are gonna be like, "Damn, well." I think it's like so. I hard? think it's cool <laughs> yeah. to try and and uh, engage in the act of de-extinction, but like de-extinction without like trying to get a hold on anthropogenic climate change is so fucking stupid. So what about what about if we just bring back the dodo? That's what I'm saying. We that, we've lost a few animals recently. We've lost a few. Like yeah, what? let's fine. bring back a dodo. Why? Why couldn't we save that? Species? Or like the or the 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 fucking what is the Bengal tiger? The white. Yeah. yeah. Why, how could we not save? Or pandas? Them? Pandas are chill as fuck. You we should not let. So pandas now you're in. back in. No, now I'm, you're no longer. I'm fine with those animals. I'm I'm saying like the I so I literally a, don't think the extinction return on animals is for woolly mammoths. It well, doesn't I mean, make sense. You, your argument that it's you know oh what are we gonna do put them in a freezer? We can't even get pandas to fuck, dude. Yeah. Wait, so wait. They stopped fucking. Wait, so is that true? They just won't fuck anymore? They won't yeah. fuck. They gave up on life. Really? Yeah, they yeah. just won't reproduce. That's the problem. That's the problem. They just won't fuck. No, won't literally, fuck. that is a big issue. That is crazy. We just need to start... Um, I wonder if it's... I don't know what we're going to do. I just really don't. I wonder we'll if it's to make them in a partially lab, because like we just won't... We I mean, they're not them, out in the wild. We should feed them aphrodisiac... Or, um, what do they call it? Aphrodisiacs? Poppers? No. <laughs> We're just got panda bears taking ecstasy and poppers. <laughs> They're gay as fuck. Holy shit. That's why. Pandas are gay as fuck? <laughs> Ling Ling is off a bean, too. <laughs> Yeah, they're they're doing. We just have Ling Ling at a Fred again concert. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to be so. Smart. I miss your touch. Na 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 na. Rush. Na 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 na. All right. On that note, I think uh, we will explore the territory of panda fucking and much more behind the paywall. That's right. At patreon.com slash fear and ladies and gentlemen, Subscribe. thank you so much for coming. This was a cutie free episode. Yes, cutie, we miss her very much. Yeah, she, she died to self here. suck. That's right. And, and also, uh, next week, I believe we are unveiling the new oh, set, the coveted new set Woo! with our guest, Stavros Halkia. Wow, what an episode. Yeah. We are so back. We are, are we gonna so fit back? him in there. Uh, <laughs> That's a real question. <laughs> We're about to find out. Oh that God. wasn't even a fat joke that, because that, the that, studio that, is tiny. What else would that have been? How are we going to fit? any guest in there is that, what I mean. Yeah. Well, Hassan, I think you were objectively larger than so How are we going to fit you in there? That's also true. Yeah. You'll see. You'll <laughs> find out. You'll find out what it looks like. Oh, God, Ling Ling's off of me. Yeah. You right. don't have to be so strong. <laughs> <laughs>